Blog Talk Radio. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. Hey, everybody. What you guys doing? It's your friend Ed. It's 7 o'clock on Thursday night, 10 o'clock on the East Coast, 7 o'clock on the West Coast. And, uh... Yep, time for another show, I guess, man. We've been doing this show every week now for I don't know how many weeks. It's been like a year almost, probably. But I know it's been a long time. And uh, tonight, um, I just got through picking up Franklin up from, he got a job over at the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. He just got off 630, went and picked him up. He in the car and we're driving right now. See, this radio show, you ain't even got to be at no radio station. You just call on the telephone. And it sounds like you in the radio. I don't know how it does it, but that's what it does. Ain't that right, Franklin? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, what, what is that? Sound like a moose. Franklin, he worked hard today. He tired. He got. He smelled like a chicken wing. Smelled like chicken wing, and then we'll, we got to stop off and get him some beer and stuff like that. We'll probably do that during the show. And, uh, huh? Got that right. You got it right, huh? How many, how many you going to drink? You're going to drink as many as it takes. I don't know. I wonder how many beers you guys drink before that's how many it takes. I don't know. I don't really drink beer myself, so, you know, I don't like it. If I drink, everybody laugh at me because I drink fruity drinks. Like, I like, I like, uh, what is that that I like? Malibu and orange. Yeah, Malibu and orange juice. Yeah, that stuff get me messed up, man. Malibu orange juice, uh. I could drink uh some uh gray goose and uh cranberry and uh <laughs> I still got this cough too. I gotta get rid of that. My chest been hurting me again too, but uh then I like uh I like what's that lemonade called, man? What's it called? Mike's no, yeah, Mike's hard lemonade tastes all right, but no. And it come in the pitcher and the Long Island iced tea. Yeah, yeah. It's like lemonade, Long Island iced tea. And uh, yeah, we drank that too. So, hey, well, listen, we got number one nine. He's the uh, Jim McMahon of the show. So, hey, number one nine, you there? Yes, the Ed, I am here. Give these kids the phone number so if they want to call and say something, they can say it. Uh, the phone number once again is six four six. Go ahead. Seven one six seven five two two six four six seven one six seven five two two. Yeah, you guys go ahead and call the show, and, uh, you know, you might win a prize or two. And uh, talking about prizes, listen, we had a bad thing happen on the weekend during football. Man, football was bad, bad, bad. And I said on that message thing that if the Baltimore Ravens somehow lost to these goddamn Pittsburgh Steelers, luckiest team in football, hate them guys, hate that Bennelsburg. They, uh, if the Ravens lost, I would give everybody a prize. You know, I, I'd give them all a prize. This guy in front of me didn't even go. The green light on the red light, he just sitting there. Man, you got to go, man. I had to mash my horn at him. Hey, uh, go, man, go. You got to go when it's green light. Go. Man, finally, good Lord. Listen, but listen I said if the Ravens lose, somehow these Pittsburghs, Pittsburghers, I would give everybody a prize. Well, that time came, man. I can't believe it. Somehow, this touchdown, it wasn't a touchdown, counted as a touchdown, and they gave him six points and seven points with an extra point, and they beat him. <coughs> and so anyway, that means everybody on the message board deserved a prize. Well, you guys who didn't take advantage of this show are some dummies. I gave out, I'm not even going to tell you how many people called for a prize well a lot of them and their prize could be worth up to three hundred and seventy dollars that's right 
cash. They could actually have $370 in their pockets. Because what I did is I gave all those people who, who took advantage of this offer, you know what I did for them, number one, nine? Uh, tell, tell us what you did for them, Ned. Sure, you want to know? Oh, you want to keep it a surprise, or, I mean, it's up to you. No, I'm going to tell them, because I don't want them to not understand what it is when they get in the mail. Yeah, that's a good idea. I bought them all parlay tickets for the bowl games. A $2 parlay ticket, there's eight teams. If all eight teams win on those tickets, $370 is yours. That's and cash these, money that goes in your pocket. And these were random uh, drawings by you on these uh, bowl game picks, right? It had nothing to do yeah, with Yeah, I didn't pick out it. I just, I just randomly selected eight games of the bowl game. So you don't know who you got. I don't even know who you got because I didn't even write it down. But your ticket says it. Now, if you if you happen to be the lucky guy that wins, all eight uh, all eight teams could win, and and everybody who got one could win. All you do is I sent you also an envelope that says send it back to the Las Vegas Hilton, and the Las Vegas Hilton will mail you a check for that money in your name. So man, that's a good prize, ain't it? Yeah, it's a real good prize. Yeah, the Dave ain't never give away no prizes like that, Dave. Uh -huh. That day, <laughs> no, dude, don't give no. He ain't got no kind of budget on his show. Look, man, we don't even got no sponsors. We ain't even on no real network, and we got a budget. <laughs> That's right. We give away bowling balls. Yeah, we could give away bowling balls. I got one in the closet. I'd give it away. It's a gray one. It's got a red dot right on it. Man, that might be a super prize. But I don't know, man. It's a sixteen pounder. That might. Yeah, no, that might be a lot to mail. Maybe if somebody come to Las Vegas, we just hand it to them. You know, I don't know. I have to do something like that. So, man, you never know what will happen. You never know. Never, never know. But uh, what else going on with you, number one nine? Uh, not too much, yet. I'm just watching the Colts and uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. And yeah, uh, the score. And I, I also at six thirty it was before I went to go to that Franklin. I updated my thing because I forgot to put mine and AccuScore's football score up. And me and AccuScore both had about the same pick, like 22 point something to 18 point something. Yeah. Don't look good, does it? Well, it's, uh, you know what, Jacksonville just scored again, so it is now 24 to 14, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, 24, Colts 14. Yeah, pending the yeah. extra point. They just, uh, they Jesus just scored Christ. Yeah, what's going on with your Colts? Yeah, uh, they're not playing good, man. But hey, listen. Also, I want to tell that everybody on the on the. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Listen, I gotta go in here real quick. Do something. Hold on. I'm gonna have Franklin talk for a minute. He's gonna tell you about working at Buffalo Wild Wings or something. Okay. Hold on. All right, I'll be I'll be right back. Hold on. Franklin, All right. listen. You gotta talk to these people. Bring them up here. Man. Well, you can drink and talk. It don't matter. Just take a sip in between talking. And then you just tell them whatever you tell them, and then I'll be right back. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom in here. Hold on, we had we had the store. I gotta go back. Hold on. Hello, Franklin. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. How you doing, buddy? Uh, the, so the Ed's got to go to the bathroom. He's running into the store to go to the bathroom. He's jogging it. No, uh, he's jogging it. All right, well that's good. That's feel pretty bad. So uh, Franklin, we hear you got a job at the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. That is correct. Yeah, and uh, you you started out handing flyers to people, and then they uh, they made you a cook. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, I was handing out flyers at the UNLV games. Mm. Yeah. UNLV. Uh, and uh, yeah, they they're a terrible team, but uh, they uh, they got good win they uh got good good looking girls there. Oh, well, there you go. That's all you need. Uh, now now, what are your uh, duties as the cook? Now, or do you just make specialize in anything? Like, do you just make the chicken wings, or do you cook everything on the menu? Uh, right now they just got me doing the wings. Oh. Just toss them in the sauces. I got fourteen different flavors. Oh, oh, do you think you can name them all right now? <laughs> Probably. Not. Well, what's the best flavor of a wing? I like the spicy garlic. Spicy garlic. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I'm back. Hey, the, the head. The most popular. Oh, what? What's the most popular? Honey barbecue. Uh, yeah, I would guess that honey barbecue. That sounds pretty good. You, you got a you got update scores there where you're at? Uh, yeah, I can update some scores. Uh, what do you want to know? Uh, 
The Avalanche and the Lightning were in overtime. I was wondering if anybody scored. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you that in a second. Yeah, you're... Hey, hey, Franklin, I don't know if you heard, but on my show last night, we had uh, Ron Tugnut, former NHL oh, no goaltender. Yeah, he's great. Oh, that's he was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, they're, they're going to the shootout right now, and it's tied 1-1. And uh, uh, UC Jokinen just went for Tampa Bay, and it was stopped. So, uh, yeah, so Colorado's doing it. I don't know if terrible this year. Yeah, uh, of course, Forsberg said he's coming back. Peter Forsberg, he's going to try and come back with him at the end of the year there. So uh, that might be something. If you get Forsberg and Sackick. Our goaltender needs some help. Yeah, Raycroft is in that tonight. Uh, let's see. Uh, so far, four shooters have gone. No one has scored yet. Oh, well, it's very exciting. Yeah. I know, I know the Yed loves the hockey. Oh, he, he. <laughs> he, he got the, he's got the satellite dish in his house and all the packages but the hockey package. He's got the basketball, the football, the baseball, but no hockey. Well, the Yed has a good, uh, he has a big announcement coming up later in the show involving hockey, though. So, uh, Uh-oh. yeah, you might want to stick around for that. I think it's going to be good. And, uh, let's see. Uh, still no one has scored in the shootout. Is the Yed back from the uh, bathroom? Uh, he just stepped out again. Where'd he go? <laughs> he's sitting here having, having my frosty cold one. Uh, so, so what are you drinking tonight, Franklin? Beer. Oh, still reserved? Iron City, Iron City beer. Oh, Iron City. All right. I'm just, <laughs> Pittsburgh, not, like that is a Pittsburgh thing, the Iron City. Yeah. Now, but still reserved, though. I like that. Still reserved. Eight point, Very good. One percent alcohol. Now, now I heard uh, the Ed told me uh, the one day we were talking. He said you once drank out, you drank the the entire store out of the Steel Reserve. You drank yeah. all the beer they had. Yeah, I did. That's not a good story, but yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be taking care of your stomach. You had a stomach trouble a little bit ago. Yeah. And you're you're still drinking. Well, I'm on, I'm on medication now, so I had to cut back. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's good to mix the medication with the Steel Reserve. But. Uh, do, do, do you just take the pills with the still reserve, or do you, you know, pop them right yeah. in? Yeah. Helps them go down easy. Yeah. I, uh, I believe in the Jerry Garcia defense. Oh, yeah? He, he smoked and drank for 50 years. He went to rehab and died. Uh, hey, that's a very good point. That's a very good point. So, like uh, I always, always tell you, I'll see you fall. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Keep on I wish you the best. Right. Hey, Franklin, one other thing we never talked about with you. Uh, what about the dodgeball league? You and the Ed were in a dodgeball league? I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to find some sponsors right now. All right, let me talk, man. I'm back. <laughs> All right, see you, Franklin. All right, thanks a lot. Number one nine, Joey Sackett, my boy. What's yeah, that's right. What's not cheap? Hello? Yeah, the Ed, you're back. Yeah, man, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Yep. Hey, What's going uh, on? What happened? Uh, we were just talking to Franklin about the uh, Avalanche and drinking Steel Reserve beer and uh, making wings. Uh, hey, uh, hey, tell Franklin the, the Avalanche just scored in the shootout. Avalanche just scored in the shootout, man, whatever that means. Hey, listen, anybody call yet? Uh, let me check. Uh, yeah, oh, you got callers lined up. Yeah. Oh, man, Franklin put them on, put them on, man. You can't let them kids wait, man. What All you right. doing? Well, you weren't even here the end. We couldn't really well, talk to you. I don't know the bathroom, man. They understand. They understand. Yeah, gotta, they understand. Sometimes you got to go and get the toilet paper and all that stuff. Well, what we got? Who we got? First one. All right. Caller in the 212 area code. Are you there? Uh, hello? Yeah. yeah. What, what's your name is? Hey, what's going on, the Ed? It's, it's, uh, it's your boy Remus. How you doing, buddy? Hey, hey man. What you doing? Uh, I'm actually just finishing up some work at the office. It's a long day. What? Uh, you, you work in an office? That's right. You a doctor? I wish. Mm-hmm. You wish you was a doctor. Hello? If you'd have went to school a little bit longer, you could have. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, yeah. I actually had a, question, a quick question for you. Well, two questions. One, Yeah. Uh, was it number one or number two? Number two. <laughs> and how many times is that today? Oh, two times. Only two. I don't have to use it in the bathroom that much no more because I got this medicine. I was, gonna, for I, was my gonna say, Ed, I was gonna say the idea. I was gonna say the You gotta go. You gotta go check out the doctor if, uh, if you're going that often, man. No, nah, they checked it before. Ain't no blood in it. It's just brown. <laughs> well, that's good news. And I had a, another quick question for you. 
if, uh, yeah. if if the number one nine is the Jim McMahon, then what does that make Franklin? Is he like the Paul Schaefer of the show, or what? Uh, what's his role? Oh, Franklin's a sidekick, man. Franklin Franklin don't always be here all the time. Sometimes he Franklin is just here. He's just Franklin. <laughs> I got you. I don't understand what you mean. Well, no, cause I, I mean I, I figured I figured Franklin's for your sidekick, not the uh, the number one nine. But I guess you. Well, no, cause, no, 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 because he's like the co-host. Franklin direct the band. Okay. Yeah, Doc, Doc Severin. He's right? a band. He's a band leader, man. Yeah, Doc Doc Stevenson. He's like uh, Kevin Stevenson. Eubanks. He's the Kevin Eubanks of the uh, of the show. Who? He, the Kev, Kevin uh, Jay Leno. Hey, look, Frank Frank. Frank looking at a girl right now. He started whistling out a window was rolled up though. <laughs> Look, I think, I think Frank Frank. I think Franklin has to take care of uh his personal problems before he uh goes that route again. Wow, what he did. Well didn't he get uh didn't he get mugged by uh that last girl you were talking to? Yeah, that girl robbed and took his forty dollars. Hey, Franklin used to date a girl that had a little bitty hand. <laughs> like one little like one little gimp hand? Yeah. <laughs> How how'd that work out? Uh, well, she, he said, what was it, palsy? Yeah, palsy? He said she had palsy, whatever that means. Now listen to this. He, when they got intimate, he would never let her touch him with that big hand. He said, always touch it with your little hand so it looks bigger. <laughs> That's what he told her. Well, I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm sure it helped his confidence out some. That helped your confidence? Oh, yeah. Yeah, did he? just smiled and said, sure did. <laughs> helped his confidence. I just tell a girl hold it with both hands because it's so big. <laughs> <laughs> That's what That's I tell him. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. What? Uh, yeah. So did uh was I included in this uh this mailing out of the uh the parlay tickets? What's that? Did you send me a parlay ticket? Did you what, Did you get a prize? Yeah. No, yeah, you never... was on there. Yeah, you was on there. Your name well, His name was on there. Wasn't the number one nine? I don't think so. Remus, did you ever respond to the uh, offer? Um, I actually, I, I don't think I did, but I think I might have turned him down. I thought he was sending out more pairs of yellow socks, and I don't, I don't, I don't want the to run out of them. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, see, you missed out, man. You miss, you never know what you're going to get on this show, man. I hey, know. one time, listen to this. One time, Franklin asked a hooker. <laughs> That's that always a good way to start a series. It's a great start. It's a great start. Yeah. He asked the hooker one time. We, I was with him at the bar. He was sitting there. Asked her. She told me it was, uh, what was it, like $100. And Franklin said, well, do, is, it, is it only $50 for me because I'm half his size? <laughs> then he told another hooker, asked her, does she charge by the inch? What he asked her. The Ed's, uh, I mean, uh, they don't like when you say that stuff. <laughs> so Franklin's trying to look for a deal. Yeah, he's looking for a deal, man. There was one girl used to be a hook girl with this bar he used to go to. Her teeth looked like she was chewing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> she was oh, bad dude. looking. She was bad looking. Franklin, what'd you give her? Five dollars? Yeah. Yeah, he gave her five bucks. Uh, yep. I feel like I feel like he was overcharged. Uncle Demas said he was uh, overcharged. He only charged me three bucks. So oh. I felt bad for him, so I gave him five. She charged him three. He felt bad and gave her a two dollar tip. <laughs> I, yeah, think I, don't get, I think you should I think you should have got a two dollars back. He should have got that two dollars back. <laughs> Man, yeah, I know. We seen her one time waiting for the bus and I said, There goes your girl. I'm like, man, I'll be messing with that, man. You catch something doing that, man. You know? I mean, oh, it's yeah. crazy. Well, uh, I, I just know. wanted to call and say hi to you, Ed, and uh, let you hey, know. Hey, well, you got to be on the lookout for those special super prizes, man. I know, man. I, but, I, yeah, I, see, I slept see, on the last one. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get, man. Okay, I'll keep like, out. And, uh, good luck with the rest of the show, the Ed. All right, uh, Uncle Thanks Raymond. for calling. You be a good buddy. guy, man. All right, take care, guys. There All go. right. Bye. Who's the next kid? All right, uh, let's see. Caller in the 410 area code. Are you there? Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Hey, hey, what's your name is? This is this is the the elevation calling back. There he is, your favorite caller. Hey call man, it's the this the number one caller in the world, man. What you doing? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Sorry I didn't make it in last week. 
I had to. Yeah, had man, to... you ain't called last week, and somebody tried to take your spot as the number one caller. I heard about that, so I had to. I had yeah, to man, you up. I'm, I'm setting it up so you guys can fight in the cage. Oh wow! <laughs> will you, will you be my manager? Nah, yeah, I'll be a promoter, so I get a lot of the money. Oh, just a promoter. Part, part of the proceeds care, go looking. to the to the Ed Needs Money Fund. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Elevation. Yo. You're on the yeah. good side. Oh, uh, no. Hey, I wanted, to, um, I wanted to thank you for the, the wonderful gift you sent in the mail. I appreciated uh, Brother Devon and the 15 cents. That was, that <laughs> there should have been 20 cents holiday. in there. Huh? There's four nick there was four nickels in there. You threw a nickel away, man. You threw away <laughs> cash. Oh, it was four. My, uh, I miscounted. My bad. But the... Brother Devon was the main thing, so I love the Dudley boys. Yeah, I know. Like see, see, my wrestling, my wrestling guys. See, when you ask for a wrestling guy, I didn't open those guys out the pack and play with them. <laughs> but the the football guys and the baseball guys and the basketball guys, they in the pack still. Really? Yeah. Uh, see, and I I didn't realize no one was going to ask for the wrestling guys because I, I got I bought one of them rings a couple years ago. <laughs> I'm in there fighting them and stuff, rolling the dice and making them fight. Well, who wins the Ed when you have the wrestling guys fight? Man, I had a Royal Rumble Warrior. one time. I I had sixty five dudes in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> oh my God. Kane won one of them. Kane, ew. Kane. Yeah, Kane got one of them. Uh, Ted DiBiase, Million Dollar Man, won one. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then uh, who else won another one? His son's uh, in the WWE right now. Yeah, what? Remember that one I did, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He won one. <laughs> then uh, Hulk Hogan ain't never won one. Ultimate Warrior ain't never won one. They ain't never even been to the Final Four. Really? I used to write it down, what happened in, in the matches. But I ain't you're, you're it a, down. You're, you're right up there with Vince McMahon in terms of being a great promoter. Yeah, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Hey, uh, guys, just want to interrupt give some scoring updates. Tell Franklin the Avalanche won. Two, one. Avalanche won. And uh, if the Colts just scored a touchdown, Peyton Manning to Dallas Clark, it's 24-21. 24-21, Jaguars on top of the Colts. Oh, Franklin said, does Marv Albert wear panties? And he went, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen him naked. <laughs> I don't want to, though. I don't like Marv Albert. It's a weird road you're going down. Hey, Elevation, what grade are you in in school, man? I'm a sophomore in, in college. I'm on. I just got off on Christmas break, so that's nice. You go to college? What, what you gonna yeah. be, man? Uh, I don't know. I want to work in the government, maybe. When, when right. I'm all set in. Work in the government. Franklin said you was trying to get your GED. That's true. No, what? I already got. Well, I already graduated from high school. I mean, I mean college. And he already graduated from high school, man. He don't need that GED, man. He got. He got one already. He got your GED, huh? Ed, did your uh? Did your friend Irv the Perv, the security guard, call in yet tonight? That was a uh, that was a little. No, weird uh, I ain't I ain't talked to that guy, man. Uh, I'm gonna send him your Here. way. I don't want him calling me no more, man. Nah, he, he made me want to lock him. That guy's lock a gay, ain't he? Family. That guy's a gay, huh? Well, I, uh, he had a, a interesting technique for finding out, but uh. <laughs> yeah, did you did you stand up when he said that? Not at all, no. I guess I'm the only one who did. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was afraid about what would happen. So. See, I, yeah, think I, I, got an, I got an idea for you. In case he calls in this week, I tell you, for your next show, you should change the time. Like, move it up an hour, move it back an hour. So that way, he, he'll call in and there won't be any answer. So then maybe he'll stop calling you and bugging you. And, yeah, I sure hope he don't call, man. I hope he don't call. And he'll, he'll I don't even remember. Try, hey, number one night, do you remember that guy's number? Yes. Oh, good. Well, you can you can van his calls then. If yeah, he calls, let us know, and then tell us, and I can laugh and go, ha ha, he's on hold, and we ain't picking up. <laughs> but he can hear you when he's on hold, though. Yeah. Oh. Can you cut him off? <laughs> you just take him off the line. Yeah, I could. I could just yeah. hang up on him. Well, let him let him hear it, and he'll know we don't like him. <laughs> All right. I'll just, I'll just start going. I'll start using code words like the herb is is a gay. <laughs> very, very subtle. Good. Very good. Uh, all right, Elevation, um, anything else you'd like to talk? ask the Ed? we got another caller hanging around. Okay, just so. one more quick thing. I was thinking of you today, Ed. Um, on ESPN, they had a boxing thing on their bottom line. It says, Floyd Mayweather is considering an offer to, to fight Ricky Hatton again. 
Yeah, they offered him twenty million dollars already. He turned it down already. Roger told me the other day. What would the point of that be? I mean, he killed him already. I mean, like what? Well, because they want to fight. Well, because the fight would be in England, and all those English people want him to come over there and fight, and they think going to England is going to make a different story. Just like going to Russia hurt Rocky Balboa, you know. Yeah, you know uh, that's that's nonsense, man. But Floyd ain't going to do it. Roger said Floyd ain't going to do it unless they give him forty million, then he'll do it. Well, yet I. Yeah, I believe I heard on the uh, Sports Center there tonight that Pacquiao is going to fight Hatton. They're they're very close to finding. Yeah, well, well, Floyd may jump in there and take that. Roger told me. That'd be a great fight. Pacquiao may win. Who would win that? Oh, Floyd. Floyd, man, of course, man. Pacquiao's never fought nobody with Floyd's caliber. You know, Barrera and those guys are good smaller fighters, but they they're not in the class of Floyd. And, and Pacquiao looked real fast against De La Hoya because De La Hoya didn't have no speed. But when Pacquiao sees that speed that Floyd's got. He he's not gonna understand it. Well, look, Freddie look, Roach Freddie Roach is intimidated by Roger Mayweather anyway. Did you see Floyd you know? match at uh, WrestleMania against the Big Show? Yeah, uh huh. That was he should have never done that. If if Floyd was a smart guy, and I told him too when I seen I seen Floyd about what three weeks ago at the gym, and I told him I said, man, why didn't you let Miss McMahon make a wrestling man of you, man? You'd have made all kinds of money off that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'd be great. He'd be a natural natural heel, but uh. All right, fellas, I'll let you get on with your evening. Hope you hope you both have a great Christmas. Hey, man, Christmas. you got what time school start? Well, I'm off until January 28th, so. January 28th? What school you go to? What's the name of it? <laughs> University of Maryland, Baltimore County. It's outside of Baltimore. UMBC Golden Retrievers, right? Yeah, they made the tournament last year. Wow, look at that. Wow, yeah, that see? Good. Nobody knows UMBC that except for people Golden there. Retrievers, man. No, it's not no community college, man. That's a big college. They went to the tournament last year, man. Yeah, they lost to Georgetown. But, uh, yeah, they'd be playing like Maryland Eastern Shore and the schools like that, man. They play for, they're in Vermont's conference. They they play a lot of teams up that. They're in the American East. Yeah, they're in the American East with Albany. Exactly. Al- wow, you know your stuff. Albany, Albany Great Danes. <laughs> that's one of the schools. The Boston Terriers, which is funny because that's like yeah. a dog. That's where Michael <laughs> Ruggioni got- went. Yeah, they got them all, man. Do you know that? And, uh, 19, huh? Uh, Michael Ruzioni works at the University of Boston. The hockey fact for that? you right there. Oh, that hockey kid that supposedly helped him win or something? Yeah. Yeah, the guy in the 1980 Olympics. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Somebody told that. me that after the 1980 Olympics, he also played in the 1988 Special Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> That's is not that true. true? No, that is not oh. true. That is not true. <laughs> I don't think he's in the Special Olympics. But. Listen. They told, I had heard, and I even told the one night about this, back in 1977, there was a guy that played in the NHL. He did not know how to ice skate. They let him roller skate. He played 10 games. Not he sure. roller skate for those 10 games. Uh, yeah, that's not true either. The, uh, that's really, that's not true. But, hey, I but also, I got, it up. one final thing, I got tickets to see the Flyers and Capitals play on Ooh. January 6th in D.C. That'll be a good one. Yeah, my beloved yeah. flyer stuff. So. I bet you I know what happens. Tie right. game. <laughs> one to one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> there are no tie games. Yeah. There are no tie games. All right, Elevation. Thanks for calling, buddy, and uh, we'll talk to you later, man. All right, Elevation. You, you Elevation yourself back to number one. Glad to get my title back. Glad to get my title back. All right, have a good one, Phil. There you go, right. Elevation. Uh, All right, yeah. who's the next kid lined up, man? Not line them up, knock them down. Yeah, we got one more caller on the line, and then once again, if you'd like to call and talk to the Ed, it's uh, 646-716. Hey, Franklin wants to know why I don't know girls call this show, man. <laughs> 7522. Yeah, you need to get that Erica girl, that 19-year-old co-ed. Yeah, we got a Hey, the Dave told me yesterday on this show there's a 19-year-old girl want to have a baby with me. Call up. I know. I tried to get the number from the Dave, and Dave said, no, nah, man, they can't give you the number, man. You already got a bunch of kids and all this stuff. I said, listen, man, one more ain't going to hurt, especially by a, a hot-looking 19-year-old girl. Man, I'd do her like a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Erica, the 19-year-old co-ed, if you're out there, it's 646 Yeah, they're going to call me, man. I can make it happen. All right, um, hey, maybe this is her on the line. Let's see. Uh, caller in the 301 area code, are you there? Hey, Erica, baby, how you doing? Huh? This is not Erica. Jesus Christ, who is this? This is the Joe. Hey, man, what you doing? Not much. I wanted to uh, thank you for your generous Christmas present. What did I get you? 
Pepe's real bad team dropped Anton Jameson, so I picked him up. Hey, man. I'm putting you on the bad side for tonight. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to make the bad side. But, Ed, I think you, you got to talk to Frank Simone, or he dropped Anton Jameson for Boris Diaw. Who, the little J did? L-I, little itty-bitty J did that. Jesus Christ, fire him. You know what? You're not on the bad side. You're a smart guy because you picked him up. That guy's on the bad side, Lil' J, man. He's done. I'm done with him, man. He's on the bad side, man. Can't believe he's messing my team up like this kid told me. Said, listen, Ed, I'm a great fantasy baseball coach, and, man, I can do it, and we can win this, and, and all this and that, man. Sent me a resume and told me all this stuff, and I said, you're hired. Now, he can't do nothing with this squad. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's okay, the Ed. You'll make a comeback, I'm sure. My hey, question, did you, I had... did you try... Go ahead, I'll let you listen. No, Go no, ahead. what are you saying, Ed? Did you, did you take advantage and get that prize? I did not, but now I'm upset that I didn't, because I didn't take advantage because I didn't want to uh, impose on your generosity. Jesus Christ, man. If somebody says they're going to give you a prize, open up your ears, man. Next time, next time. You might, have to, time, you might, have, to, you might have to go on the bad side. Next time, there might be a next time. Maybe I don't have no more prizes to give. See? And then you missed out on three hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I didn't want to, uh, you know, cost you any money because I what the show yeah, you bring man. to us brings so much joy to everyone here. Listen, man, money's money. That's what it is. That's what you got to do with it. You got to money it. So that's how it happens. That's true. My question for you is: We hear you talk all about football teams and whatnot, and I guess you got into it a little bit with uh, the elevation, but. You don't talk too much about the college basketball. What are your teams do you like? I like Texas Tech. In basketball? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like Texas Tech. They're not terrible, man. They lost last night, but they're not terrible. They had two injuries, man. Two starters was out, man. What you talking about, Franklin? No, I like Texas Tech. I like Indiana University. Come on, man. They ain't terrible. They just got on probation. They ain't terrible. Indiana University is terrible, Ed. Uh, well, hey, man. You can't be a front runner all the time. Got three national championships. That's got the true. coach and ever, Bobby Knight. And I love the Indiana University because in the 2002 national championship game, they lost to my favorite team, the Maryland Terrapins. Listen, man. You're on the bad side. <laughs> oh. Oh. You're just trying to get under my skin, ain't you? At first you got under my shirt, but now you've got under my skin. You're trying to just talk bad to me. Uh, you're Joe's the first, a good guy, bad, yeah. Joe's you're the first a good guy. bad caller we had, man. You're the first guy calling bad stuff. Uh, uh, no, I know Joe's a huge hockey fan. And yeah, you know, I love everything that has nothing to do with hockey. Hey, uh, yeah, I know a lot about hockey too. I, no, I just know the teams. You, how many teams? How many teams do you think I could name out of? How many teams is there now? There's thirty. Thirty. How many do you think I could name? Ten. Franklin says I can name ten of them. I think you can name more than ten. I think you can name about sixteen. How many you think number one nine? I think you could name twenty nine. Jesus Christ, <laughs> out of 30? Good Lord. Let me see if I can name the teams. I don't got, do I got a paper in front of me, frankly? No, we in the car. I've got paper and pencils, so you can. Well, I, you I can try to help it? you out, too. I don't, I don't need no help, man. I don't need no help. Uh, let me see, New York Rangers. New York Islanders. Pittsburgh Penguin, Philadelphia Flyer, Four. Buffalo Buffalo Sabres, New Jersey Devil. I'm trying to get the map in my head. 
That's sick. Washington, Washington Capitals, which I didn't realize that team until Elevation said that team name this minute ago. I wouldn't have got that one if he wouldn't have said that name. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightnings. Eight. Florida Panthers. Columbus Blue Jacket. That's a good one there. That's 10. Atlanta got a team, but I don't know the name of it. The Thrashers. Oh, there you go. Joe helped you out. Yeah. He helped me with the little stuff going. Uh, bring one. I'm trying to get him. Hold on. Phoenix Coyote. Dallas Stars. Minnesota Wild. Detroit Red Wing. 15. Chicago Blackhawk. There it is, 16. So you got Joe. Los Angeles King. Uh, San Jose Shark. What's Franklin's favorite team? Col oh. Oh, Colorado Avalanche. <laughs> what was that? Colorado Avalanche. I forgot all about them, man. Colorado Avalanches. Uh, and he's got a hat on that says it, too. <laughs> 2000 <laughs> what? World Champion? Yeah. yeah. Then, uh, what else the other guy named team? Uh, I'm trying to go in California now. San Jose Star. Oh, Anaheim Mighty Duck. That's 20. Ten more. Uh, Toronto Maple Leaf. Stop saying that. I can't say it. Stop. I didn't get it. It's Mighty Duck. It's Ducks now. It's Ducks now. Ain't no Mighty in front of me. Ah, shut the hell up. <laughs> you made me mad, man. Jesus Christ. Shut up. We didn't lose on Jeopardy. If I'd go on Jeopardy, I'd win it all, man. You got some more Canadian teams. Toronto Maple Leafs. We got, uh, let's see, um, uh, Montreal Canadian. Ottawa Senator. 23. Uh, 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 man, we're Franklin and Carr, I believe, in my mind. Vancouver Canuck. 24. It ain't no Montreal Habitat. What? Shut the hell up, man. What's wrong with you? Where did Gretzky play? Huh? Where did Wayne Gretzky play? L.A. Kings, man. I already said it. Before that. Uh, Indianapolis Ice. In between the two. <laughs> uh, uh, Edmonton Oilers. Uh. Uh, man, that's all I know. I can't think of no more team. Franklin done pissed me off, man. You got 25 yet. That's very good. Franklin, Franklin made me mad. I can't even concentrate, man. Uh, Don't worry, Dad. I think there's about seven people going to name that many teams. Uh, I'm great, man. I told you. <laughs> yeah, you are. No, uh, uh, quite impressive. Hey, hold on, man. I got to run back in this bathroom real quick. Frankie, you got to talk to me. My stomach's hurting, man. Hold on. Hold on, Twice, man. twice in the show. Well, Joe, you can't too many out. of those uh, Buffalo uh, Wild Wings there. Yeah. No, the Buffalo Sabres. Baby, little Sabres. Not Wild. He, he said, this guy said the Buffalo Kings are Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. He got more than I thought he would. Hey, hey, Franklin, you back? Yeah. All right, uh, Joe's on the line. We're talking to Joe, and uh, he loves hockey. So if you if you want to talk hockey, just talk to Joe here. He loves well, we could talk about sports. Hey, hey, hockey is a sport. It's the best sport, right, Franklin? Exactly. Hey, what, me, was the name, what was the name of the NHL team in Denver before the Avalanche? Oh, the uh, the, uh, the the the, the Scouts, the, the Scouts, right, or something like that? No. No, what was it? The uh, the Denver uh, Kansas City Scouts and the Denver. Uh, wow, I'm blanking. I can see the blue jerseys. Oh, the Rock, the Rockies, right? You got it. Yeah, the color of the Rockies. Move, where'd they move to? Uh, then they moved to uh, New Jersey. Because they played in 2001 for the Stanley Cup, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Hey, I think the Colts may have just tied it up. I wasn't paying attention. It, it just did. Yep. How about that? So maybe yeah, the end will come through. Hey, uh, hey, Franklin, Milan Hayduk scored the, scored the shootout goal tonight. I, I got another question about uh, the Ed scoring system here. Yeah, like his, uh, yeah, for people who don't know, on the Damashek.com, uh, go to the message boards for the Dave Damashek show there. And uh, the Ed has been going up head-to-head -head against AccuScore, uh, the company that uses computers to predict games. And the Ed uses a uh, very involved, intricate, uh, convoluted mathematical formula and, and, his, and his magic dice. 
and, and he exactly. predicts games. Matt and Dave. And uh, yeah, so what's your question there, Joe? How you figured it out? My question, I didn't read the thing, but I thought he just rolled dice and added up the numbers. How is he coming up with 18.12 or whatever he's coming up with? Like I said, it's a very complicated formula. And, and believe me, he explained it to me. I know all about it, but uh, it's a top secret thing. You know, it's like uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken's the recipe. You know, you can't let it out. And uh, But, yeah, it's a very complicated formula. It, it involves, like, a, you know, division and subtraction and all sorts of other mathematical things. And it's great. It's like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Does he uh, keep it locked up in a safe and carry it around? Does Franklin have it on his wrist at all times? No, I don't think Franklin. You don't even know the formula, do you? I don't know the formula how he gets his numbers, but uh, I know each team gets ranked with an offensive number and a defensive number, like a and minus a seven, plus seven, or whatever, how good they yeah. are. Yeah, and, and a power ranking. Dice. Yeah, and then he uses the dice to roll, and he multiplies the power ranking times the dice to come up with some weird number. How yeah. many dice does he use? Does he take, like, a Yahtzee game and roll five dice, or? Um, I think it's just two or three. I'm not even sure. Yeah, it, it depends. Sometimes he'll use more. It depends on how many times, because depending on their offensive rating, it determines how many times he has to roll the dice and stuff. It's very complicated. But uh, what was I going to say? I, I had a very good point to make. Oh, yeah, through Aki's score, so far he's been keeping track for like a week. And, and so far Aki's score is five games ahead of him. Uh, on oh, the base. You could make money if you bet the opposite, the opposite. Of the Yeah, but if you bet with Aki's score, whether you bet them or against them, you're not going to want to win money because you got to win 56% of the time to win money with a bookie. But if you bet opposite of the edge so far, you'd barely be making money. So it's very good. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, let me charge my seven. Don't worry about it. Yeah. How you play with your funny dice game. I don't know how you do it. Oh, the edge's got to get something out of the back of the car. Yeah. This is very good radio. Just people walking around and getting things out of cars. I think he ruined all the good radio last night with all his singing. Man, that was fabulous. Oh, with what? What with his what? With all his singing about his NFL picks on your. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he, when he gave his NFL picks, he was singing little songs. It was, it was great. Not as good as his Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer uh, song that he sang for our buddy the Dave, but it was still very good. I don't know. His uh, his song about Atlanta winning was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, candy coated jeans. Well, I was thinking the one before that, but... Oh, yeah, he did sing two for them, yeah. Uh, Franklin, what's the Ed doing? Uh, he's running around the car. <laughs> Why is he running around the car? I ain't figured that out yet. He's trying to get something <laughs> on the back seat, but I don't know what he's looking for. And then he's coming around the other side. <laughs> what are you doing? I ain't got no clue what he's doing. Yeah, not many people do, so don't worry about it. But, uh... All right, well, Joe, you, you want to hang on to talk to the Ed about a system, right? You don't, you're, you're, no, you're in no rush? If the Ed's coming back, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, he'll, he'll be coming back, don't worry. He's right outside the car. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Huh. How come when the Ed's on the Dave show, he can't get a plug-in like everyone else? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think this is just my personal theory. I, I think uh, Dave is scared of the competition. <laughs> I was thinking maybe the Ed runs a little too blue. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to ask uh, the Ed that, but... Uh, yeah, you know, I think Dave, hey, he's a little scared. Why are you running around the car? Huh? Why are you running around the car? I thought you went to the bathroom. What? Why are you running around the car? I thought you went to the bathroom. Come on, I had to check something on me. I thought I heard something. Uh, Here. Hello? Ed. Yeah. Well, well the Ed, you're going to like this. The Colts just intercepted the pass, and they're running uh -huh. in for a touchdown, and they're up now 31-24. Good God, the Colts are the best in the world. <laughs> Yep, they're the best in the world. David Garrard just three interceptions. I want to know why you're trying to swindle, swindle uh, Franklin out of how I do the numbers. Uh, yeah, Joe had a question about how you came up with the numbers, and I told him it's a very complicated formula. I didn't divulge any of the secrets. I, I wasn't curious how you came up with the numbers. I thought you just rolled dice and added them. I just wanted to know how you came up with, like, 18.12 or whatnot. Came up with weird numbers in all your games. Well, no, because I'm not rolling the dice. This The system I'm using right now against AccuScore is the formula to get to roll the dice. I don't actually roll the dice on this one. If I rolled the dice, it would come out just a random game. But that number that's right there simulates him doing it 10,000 times, just like he does. Oh, okay. So you're simulating rolling the dice 10,000 yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. I'm simulating like he is. Okay. You can understand well, that, right? Well, I hope you beat him, Ed. Eh, it's not looking good, man, but if you'd go opposite of what I said, you'd be winning money. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is better than you do with it's better than anything he yes, said. Yes, you know what? But listen, but but the deal is is I'm showing that he shouldn't be getting paid all that money by ESPN for being under five hundred. Yeah, they should pay you twenty thousand. Hey, yeah, but just for saying that he's a dummy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you weren't picking Tulsa all year, right? Huh? You weren't picking Tulsa every game, right? I don't pick Colts every game. When I, I bet, I do. Picking but Tulsa not in, every in the game. system. Not in the system, I don't. The Colts can lose. Now, it's not very likely, but it, they could do it. It's not going to happen tonight either. No, they're not going to lose. Hey, you like hockey? What? Do you like hockey? Do I like hockey? No, not really. I don't really care about hockey. You don't? Well, well I got I got a big surprise for all the hockey people, so I guess you won't even care about it. <laughs> we are going to have a, uh, should I tell them number one now what I'm going to do? Yeah, go ahead. Get Ron, touch my butt? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Franklin, Ron, don't even know this. Ron's going to touch your butt. What? <laughs> That's not the surprise. That's not the surprise. No, right. listen, listen. I'm going to be running a game, okay, a contest. It's going to be called Ed's Super Deluxe Hockey Game. It's coming to the message board. The entry forms will be in one of them documents that uh, the, the uh, hockey man, number one nine, gonna, I'm going to make it, and he's going to put it on the, on the thing. And uh, you guys can sign up. It's free to play. And it's going to start January, uh, I don't know, January 1st or something. But it's going to last for one whole month. And then we're going to see how many people sign up to play. But, like, the top two, three, or four people are going to get prizes. Well, I don't like hockey, but I like winning. So I, mean, well, you got to, I don't like hockey either. But I just assumed everybody on this stupid message board likes it because they all talk about hockey. And this other kid, number one nine. Got some called the LCS Hockey Show, so I figured he must like hockey. Yeah, I do. So I was gonna, I was gonna do NBA, but I said, man, I'll do hockey first. Maybe in February we'll do NBA. And for and real, in, in March, huh? You should pick a sport. Pick a sport. Yeah. I just did hockey. He, he's saying hockey's not a sport. He's saying hockey's not a sport. I thought you thought sport. hockey wasn't a sport. Well, they got me coming around to thinking it might be because yeah, I'm looking yeah. at, in the. A lot of people seem to like it for some unknown reason. So you started hanging out with us hockey kids, the Ed, and you're starting to see them. Yeah, out. I know. I know it. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. <laughs> I've never actually watched the whole game, though, because I can't see that ball for nothing, man. Well, it's a puck. It's not a ball. It's a puck. But yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to tell you, I never liked hockey, but then I used to watch the Stanley Cup playoffs, and they were fabulous. Nah, I wouldn't go that far. I think you're going overboard. <laughs> no, no, the, the playoffs are great. Going over, you're going overboard. But listen, i I want you to sign up for this game. I'll sign up for the game. All right, we've got to get everybody signed up, man, because the more people sign up, the more people get prizes. Hey, uh, let me interrupt her, Joe. Uh, I believe we have a very special caller on the line. So, uh, okay, uh, well, I'll get going. I just wanted to thank you and uh, keep up the good work, the Ed. Hope I can right, make it off good, the bad man. side. All yeah, right, okay, there's... no problem. Play the game. There goes okay. Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for calling, buddy. All right, the Ed, we have a very special caller. Now, uh, uh, see, see if you can uh, recognize this voice. Uh, caller, are you there? Hello? 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 I'm looking for the Ed, please. Yeah, what's your name? My name's Dave. Hey, Dave, how you doing? What, what city are you calling from, man? Calling from Los Angeles, your former home. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, hey, what, what you doing? What you want? Talk, talk about it. Well, I heard you. I just happened to catch you talking about hockey, and I felt like I had to call in and defend the sport a little bit. I thought by now uh, you yeah. still love it a little bit more than you do. Well, I really don't. I mean, I can name a lot of the teams, though. Did you hear that? No, I, I missed that part. Who, how many how did you many? get? I don't know. At least uh, the, Ed got, the Ed got 25 teams. 25 teams? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. Okay, right off now. my head, man. Ottawa Senator, Atlanta Flames. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, yeah, we, we heard it once. It's okay. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Hey, listen, listen, Dave. Hey, you sound like a good guy. Thank um, you. <laughs> I, we're going to have a hockey contest on the message. Yeah, they got a message board thing that we do. I don't know if you know about it or not. We put it know. on there. Maybe. And, uh, and uh, 
Yeah, we're going to have everybody sign. It's called Ed's Super Deluxe Hockey Game. <laughs> and how will it work? Well, the top four or five people are going to get prizes. See, because I, uh, sometimes I'm on this other show, and the guy don't give no prizes at all. And see, my show gives out all kinds of prizes. What's that other show you're talking about? Uh, the Dave Show. Yeah. And who are you talking to now, the Ed? You said your name was da Hey, wait a minute. That's exactly, it's the same Dave. Hey, right. is this now, the Dave from the Dave Show? That's right. Now you should be embarrassed. Now you see, now it catches up with you. You run around and start spreading reckless rumors about people. It catches up with you from time to time. How dare you say I don't pay prizes just because you've never gotten one? Well, you know what? Listen. What? I've won many, many times on your show. Untrue. And listen, you're never going to win on my show. So don't even, because usually everybody who calls in gets a prize. Uh huh. But not you, buddy. What the? I, I, that, what, a, what a slap in the face, the Ed. Well, I mean, you tell me you're going to call and come over for barbecues and all I kinds of stuff like. I felt bad huh? I missed the barbecue. I felt bad about missing out on the barbecue that you threw yeah. in my honor and you hung up signs around your neighborhood announcing that uh, you were having the party. I felt bad I missed that one. I know. Derek Fisher was talking about coming and. Cody Ryan and all those guys, That's they didn't show true. up either. That's what I'm talking about. That's not true. I'm sure Kobe, and his name's Kobe Bryant, but uh, but uh, I'm sure he and Derek Fisher never said they were coming to your party. Would you would you take a bullet to the head if I was to find out if I was telling the truth or not? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, huh? I for, I don't know what the right answer is. I guess no. I don't I don't want to get you don't know for sure if I talked to Derek Fisher and Cody Ryan or not. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'm safe. I've got, I'm safe. Listen, I've got what was the Pittsburgh Steelers name that's, that's coming on the show? Yeah, Number Dave, I don't nine? know if you heard this, but uh the Ed contacted the Pittsburgh Steelers and asked if he could get a Steeler on the show and they, they approved of uh William Gay, Gary Russell, or uh who who's the third one? Uh Timmons? Or, or no, Lamar Woodley. Lamar Woodley was the third one. Yeah, one of those three's coming on the show. Yeah. Wait a second. When did this happen? Uh, like I, I, called him, I called him two weeks ago. I called the Pittsburgh Steelers right up and told them. Talked to the lady in public relations. Wow. Good and, uh, I, I said, listen, lady, I got a radio show. And uh, it's got, you know, we, we worldwide, we got people from Canada listening. And I said, man, and everybody on my show that listens likes these Steelers for some unknown reason. And I'd just like to get one on just to say hi and, you know, dance and jump around or do something. And she said, well, you know, what's the name of your show? I told her. I said, you know, I do everything. And I give away prizes and all that stuff. And she said, well, mm -hmm. I have to get back with you. But she gave me those three names. Do you think Lamar Woodley is would be good at uh, your hockey contest that you're having? <laughs> I have no idea. Does he play hockey? No, no, no he's not. not a, I, don't, I don't think he's a two-sport athlete. I don't think he's like Bo Jackson. Hey, you like hockey, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, we, we've talked okay, about Okay, now it. listen, listen. The number one nine doesn't believe me. Back in 1977, there was a guy that played in the NHL that did not know how to ice skate, and they let him wear roller skates for ten games. <laughs> that, how'd I miss that one, too? I don't remember that happening either, the Ed. Well, you might have been too young for that. No, I was. I was uh, right. I mean, yeah, you're. You're. What? What are you like? You're like forty or forty-five years older than I'm 55. than I am. I used to be fifty-four, and I'll be. Right. I got a birthday around the corner in June. Yeah, right around the corner. Hey, the Ed. Speaking of hockey, I know we, we talk about this before. And by the way, what's happening, Dell? Hey, not much. Not much. How are you? Hey, I'm listen, doing pretty good. It was nice for you to call in. Before Victory. you start yapping. Listen. I want to yap. I'll yap if I please. I let you listen. You hijack. Hey, listen, this is my show. You hijack you my show. All listen, the time. this is my rules on my show. No, listen. You come on my show. You you talk your stuff all the time. I give you. I give you. I barely, I barely get a, a word in edgewise. <laughs> you flapped your gums for a half an hour the other day. Well, I had to wait for you to stop. But listen, <laughs> I want to know: Are you signing up for our game? It's free to play. And listen, oh, oh, I'll wow. even let you. I won't rig it, but if if you do good, I'll give you a prize. I will get the prize. And what is the prize? Can I know that before I? Well, agree? You just you just missed out on the prizes for this last one. 
everybody who everybody has a prize valued at up to three hundred and seventy dollars. I know that. Yeah, you mentioned that if you remember on on my show the other day. So did you announce what it was? Yeah, you did. See, I yeah. could have blown that secret, but I didn't. You know, I was being a good showman there. You didn't know what it was. I did so know what it was. How did you know? Because because I had I could figure it out. You're living in Las nah. Vegas. You said, I what did I say? You heard what I said. You I thought I it was a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> the Ed. Hey, 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 Dell. What do you think? You you don't know. I I would love to see a picture of the Ed. As a matter of fact. Yeah, right? that would be nice. I haven't it, seen a picture of him either. I'd love to see what you look like, the Ed. But you've described. You met me. See, you don't even you met me that one time. <laughs> look, I came to that goddamn show in California with the church, and then you got man. You are not a friend. There's a lot but of. But you're on the bad. You be on the bad side, man. Well, I don't remember I Eddie. You, I bet you know what Eddie Murphy looks like, don't you? <laughs> Well, listen. You're five foot eight, and you're what'd you say you were? You're sixty eight years old, or whatever you are. Listen. Listen, I'm fifty five. I used to be fifty four, and I'm uh -huh. about to be fifty six in a few months. Right now, Dal, from what you know, you've seen basically what I look like. What? Uh, who? Who wins if uh, we're out on the ice and we drop the gloves? Who wins that fight? Fight me or the Ed? Well, here's the thing. On the ice, I'm going to give you the edge, Dave, because I I, I don't know if the Ed knows how to skate. And uh, I assume you've been on skates at some point in your life. Sure, sure. But on the I ground. I that stick and shove it so far, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> Don't want to yeah, fight I mean, me. I've already it. told you. Listen, you already know why. You know why is the reason why I'll beat you up? Why? What color are you? <laughs> <laughs> the color of the ice, the end. <laughs> That's right. You're just like water. Uh -huh. My pistol go throw you through you like a cup of water. Well, if I recall, I believe the Ed once challenged you to a, a karate fight, Dave. Oh, he got scared. Great. I forgot about that. All right, if you he want got to do scared, that, man. I'll do that. I bet you was the kind of kid that just didn't even fight. No, I was like, uh, you know the movie, I'm sure you know the movie, uh, the Ed, Some Kind of Wonderful. And uh, and uh, the, at the end of the movie, the, the one kid uh, goes over to the bully's house. And uh, the bully says to his friends, they're seventeen year old kids, he says, uh, boys, take them outside and beat them up. And uh and they do or they, they start to wait that that was my way. I used to just dispatch my seventeen year old friends. Boys, take them outside and work them over but good. I like how that worked in the eighties movies, uh when, when you could when you were so powerful as a bully, you could send your friends out to uh, to get You remind me of the fat kid on Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and be. Uh, listen, I got one more question because this is a burning question on the on the message board. Everybody want to know. Mm -hmm. Are you a gay? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know if that's a burning question on the message board. I've seen oh. it on there like ten or twelve times. All right, I, I I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> and uh, one and two, I the the most important thing. I I really wanted to just talk to Dell, not to uh, <laughs> not to you, the Ed. To say, Dell, I've been remiss. I got to get you. I know you need to be on the podcast, but when you are, you need to make a uh, you need to make a very strong case for your Tina Fey for the land of the fire. Uh, uh, yeah, the Ed. Well, I think uh, Exhibit One or Exhibit A in my case would be uh, the you Ed. But you can't because tell him you got a show because his producer tells me every time when he calls, <laughs> you can't say you got a show on another show. But the Ed, don't you, you like do Tina Fey? The Ed, don't you like the Tina Fey? She's good looking in kind of like a Down syndrome kind of way. Well, that's not nice at all. That is. Oh, hey, I just passed Franklin. Franklin was in the Walmart getting some more beer, and he just waved me down. <laughs> I almost ran you over. Sorry. All right, Dal. Let's oh. talk to you about Tina Fey. And hey, listen. Uh, hey, did you know? Did you notice? Did you notice that the Dave didn't answer the question? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right, Dave. Well, thanks for calling the show, buddy. We appreciate it. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, the Dave. I gotta tell you something. What's that? I'm glad you called the show. You're a real good guy. You're on the good side. And, you know, most of these people, they wouldn't even know about me if it wasn't for you. Because the other guy, he told me don't call his show no more. So I called your show. And then sometimes it made me want to cry. But, you know, <laughs> no, that's not. Because you're a friend. And, uh, 
And I like you a lot. And I know I talk mean sometimes. I don't want to talk mean to everybody. But I want you to be a friend for a long time. Or you don't come to the barbecues. But maybe maybe you will, but maybe you won't. We're, we're, consider us dear friends, the Ed. Dear friends. All right. Okay. Well, you got to go now. It's time for you to hang up. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. All right, fellas. Be well. There he goes, Dave Damashek. Thanks, buddy. Well, how about that, the Ed? Dave Hello. called the show. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it. Yeah. I choked up. Yeah, well, we're about out of show there, buddy. So you want to wrap uh, it up? Yeah, I guess so. And let everybody know, man, I'm going to have that Ed's Super Duper Hockey. Super, no, not Super Duper. Ed's Super Deluxe Hockey Games coming to a theater near you. So, you know, you got to watch it, and everybody will be good, okay? All right, so everybody, uh, what am I supposed to say? I always forget. Uh, don't let no one talk bad about you. Yeah, I'm gonna, everybody be good and, and don't let nobody talk bad about you. It's the Ed Show, not the Ted Show. It's the sit back, relax in your bed show. It's the Ed Show. Come on to the Ed Show. You can talk to Ed on the Ed Show. 